This is the 1990-91 Skybox number 41, Michael Jordan. This is the first 1990-91 Skybox card that we've looked at. So we're going to do a brief overview of the set itself. NBA Hoops was owned by Skybox. And although Hoops entered the scene in 1989-90, it was 1990-91 when the name Skybox made its debut on the market. On the reverse of the cards, this is interesting. Let's turn this over. Right here in the copyright, NBA Properties, Inc. We haven't talked about this yet, um, but during this time period, this copyright shows that this is one of the first times that a division of a professional sports league itself became involved in the card market. So that's interesting. Now, while NBA Hoops was going for a classic look, the Skybox card cards had fu futuristic, computer-generated, more artistic backgrounds. And they were surrounded by this gold border, these were really exciting cards when they first arrived. A lot of thought went into these cards. Even the statistics on the back had a unique feature. We'll turn it over again in a second. But in the back, in the statistics, they compared the individual stats to the average for his entire position. So it was neat to do a quick comparison between that player and kind of an overview of the whole league. The set was a substantial 423 cards. You had 300 in a first series, and then there was a smaller 123 card series two. That came out in mid-March. That series two, well, what was the purpose? Um, it included coaches. That was 301 to 327. Then you had some team checklists, that was 328 to 354. There were the lottery picks, 355 to 365. Then you had some basic player updates. That takes you to card 420. Then you close out with the checklists. That's 421 to 423. And just like we discussed in the 1990-91 hoop set, cards were pulled from Series 1 to make room for Series 2. So that meant that there were 123 pooled cards that are short prints, and they're a bit more rare than other cards in the set. There were some important rookies in this set. You had Sean Kemp, Gary Payton, Glenn Rice. But like most sets of this time, it was overproduced, and the values of all the cards, they never really took off. Now back to this Michael Jordan card. It's really hard to capture the excitement that young collectors had when they first encountered this particular Jordan card. I mean, combining the futuristic design elements with a Michael Jordan dunk made this very hard to beat. And then, when you turned it over, it was really, truly a surprise to see Michael Jordan with a golf club. I don't think we ever saw that before. That was really neat. Then, as we had mentioned earlier, the comparison between the individual statistics and the st statistics averaged over the entire position. See here? All guards. And there you have those average statistics. So you look at Michael Jordan... I mean, he, he, he's nearly triple the points of the average of his position, 11.4 versus his either 32.8 for the whole career or the 89-90 season, 33.6. So this is a really worthwhile card, and it has some more unique features than we often give it credit for. You know, I think it's great to have it in any collection. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.